the project is called Love Taxi and uh, it came up from a need of more places in public space for personal seduction. Capacity. Uh, in Sweden 100 years ago uh, there was a big debate uh, because then there were only two universities in Sweden that could give a uh, doctoral degree, the universities of Lund and Uppsala and the uh, KTH Royal Institute of Technology, they struggled to be given that right to give a PhD then in research on technology. Okay, I'm Nils Claesson. I'm a PhD candidate at Stockholm Academy of Dramatic Arts. Basically, I'm making a puppet animation over a classical Strindberg play, The Ghost Sonata. So that's my project. Art is about, filmmaking is about collaboration. Uh, I work with other artists, we do things together. So ultimately, the research will be hopefully to make a good film and then try to take out something out of that process that can be useful. Since we, we are working together, this is very important that we are really clear with each other. I mean, if we, if we shouldn't cooperate, we could be angry at each other. And, but since this is going to be something that we I mean, it's also dangerous, so, so we have to be um, fine with each other. Yeah, you have to mm. be fine. In mm. the hands, mm. even though you try to not show it for the other one, even though you say, okay, but it's okay, then you still can feel, oh no, it's not okay, we haven't solved this yet. Since there isn't so much research done by practitioners in circus that I know, uh, we had to somehow found, uh, find out the ways how to research within our practice. So then yeah. we, we, uh, we were writing and we were recording a lot, but we start to record, uh, I mean, record really the whole training session mm. and the whole performances and see the things that are going on between, like... See patterns yes. and stuff. Doing research it means that you really explore something uh, to the depth of it. One thing that all artistic researchers are struggling with is how to how to formulate your research yeah. uh, in an accessible in, way, in an accessible way, way yeah. and in an academic way. My uh, artistic research uh, for my PhD, which just I just finished in December 2013, and that's called uh, Between Air and Electricity. Microphones and loudspeakers as musical instruments. I started with looking at them as conventional instruments, but during the research, it developed as sound producers which have very specific functions. The voice, together with gestural manipulation by, by the singer on the phone that she's holding is creating the extra vocal arrangement. And that's, that's part of my research project that we call Extending Opera, where the idea is to build on a very solemn and senior operatic knowledge and extend that with new technology and see what happens with opera at that point. What we're doing 
doing is starting from a couple of research questions having to do with what does it mean to create um, these kinds of performances for young audiences. How can we incorporate um, modern, up-to-date visual technology into the narrative that will sort of enhance opera for a young audience? And how can we make our own reflection process be a part of that artistic process? So it's really all merged together. And the research project is very much about exploring through artistic practice sort of what performance can do, if that makes sense. you have. Where did you get such a nice mouth? What is this mouth doing here? La, 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 la. What is this mouth doing here? Here is the mouth. The mouth is walking on the street. The mouth means... <laughs> of course you can do research on anything as long as you build new knowledge so uh, artistic research is here to stay and to develop